currently we produce in the world over 50 million tons of hydrogen with about a fifth of that being consumed in the United States. That hydrogen is being used primarily as a feedstock for making agricultural products such as fertilizer and also a chemical feedstock to take the petroleum in its raw form and make it into the petroleum that we use in either diesel or gasoline. It's also used for medical applications, food processing, a variety of smaller type uses. If you look down the road in the hydrogen economy, some of those uses are for transportation, such as forklifts in a warehouse, or even putting electricity onto the grid. As always, when you start going into new markets, it becomes difficult for commercial companies to invest in something that's years out. That's why we have programs like the National Center for Hydrogen Technology where you have some government support because that federal support helps bridge that gap. With that, we work closely with commercial partners and we find opportunities to provide developments in terms of being more effective, lower cost, better environmental advantages. And these are all things that are helping to buoy the hydrogen economy. As we go down this path and we get those goals met, we start grabbing more and more market opportunities. It becomes a matter of greatly reducing the cost of producing the hydrogen as well, the fuel cells, and also as the end uses. And we uh, then reach more and more applications and we see it accelerating. And as that happens, you get the benefit of more public buy-in. The more they're familiar with technology, the more they want it and the more they're interested. We see some very significant technological evolution taking place, which says that uh, hydrogen can be exceptionally competitive. And we firmly believe that the ultimate energy source in this world is going to be hydrogen. Funding provided by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Energy Technology Laboratory, the Energy and Environmental Research Center's National Center for Hydrogen Technology, and the members of Prairie Public.